So about a month ago, uh, for my X748, I found this set of Category 1 uh, draft arms uh, for sale by themselves, just like you see them here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I have a set of Category 0 draft arms for the three-point. That's for my, This is for my X748. And... But what I want to do is, I, currently I have a Category 1 three-point installed, but I would like to swap back and forth between the Category 1 and the Category 0. However, that's not possible with the rock shaft because the rock shaft, well, I can't get that to bend, the rock shaft on the, the Category 0 hitch has these bolt heads, and these are just pins that will pin into the... Uh, the rock shaft. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to straight swap over these uh, arm, these kind of draft, I guess these would be the, these are the, the arm, the lift arms. These are the draft links, I guess. That's what you would call them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the draft links over to the category one arms. Uh, mostly because I want to see if that will work first and so after we get done and here then we'll go into the shed even though it's dark we're going to see if they will even fit on the X748 like this so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the arms from the Category 1 hitch, or Category 0 hitch, <clears throat> like so. Set these parts off to the side. <clears throat> this Category 0 hitch came with my X748 when I bought it. Um, so, I, and I used it well, a good bit until I got the Category um, 1 hitch that's on it now. Picked up the wrong wrench. All right. So there's the category zero lift arms off. Put those in the on the ground, I guess. So there's those. Now, because nothing's the same. I'm switch over the 18 millimeter and take these off. All right, so here are our uh, lift arms or draft links, whatever you want to call them, for the um, Category 1 arms. Now the problem we're going to have is these are considerably wider than the arms. So probably what I need to do is I need to put a couple washers in there. So let me go get some washers and I'll come back and we'll work on this. Alright, so I went and got some washers and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take the Category 1 arms off the bench since I don't need those anymore. That way we can spread out a little bit here. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on putting, I think probably two washers per side. Now this is gonna be a lot of fun here. Actually, I don't think I've got space for two washers. Yeah, I do. All right, so. So there's two washers, put the lock nut on, like so, and we'll do the other side. Like that. Now the problem we might have with this is these angles right here might not be appropriate for a category one hitch. So, there is a challenge to what I am trying to do. It is not 
this equipment was not designed for this, but you know, we're gonna try it out because it never hurts to try something out once. So there's that. Now we just need to tighten everything down. I really like this new impact. It's very nice. Um, the three settings on it helps. So it's got a, it's got one, two, or three. So that's one. Turn to two, three. Um, <clears throat> so it'll do 400, 1200, 1900 RPM. Uh, 2400 impacts per minute breakaway torques like 1500 foot pounds uh, maximum uh, tightening torque is like 700 foot pounds so uh, overall really like it uh, for anybody wondering it's a dcf 899 p2 i don't know what the p2 signifies but it does have the five amp hour battery uh, on it uh, the the dcf 899 actually varies in price across multiple um multiple places so just something to be mindful of if you're shopping so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go take this these uh arms out to the shed and i'm going to try to get enough light in there to see if we can put it on the x748 and see if this idea works all right well how is this for crappy lighting central um it just is what it is i guess so i've got the regular three point off of the X748 here. And now I'm going to get the and top it off. The camera battery's dying, so that's good news. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to take these pins out. So I use different pins. I use my uh, pins that I have for the 60-inch pin mount. So the first thing I'm going to do. That was good. So the first thing I'm going to do, well, it was magnetized up here. I guess it's not anymore. Well, that's swell. So we're going to deal with really, really crappy lighting. I am sorry about that. But this is when I have a chance to do this kind of stuff. So, all right, so that one's in. Now the first thing we're gonna, and I got these too tight, rats. All right, so let me go get a wrench and the impact gun. Well, I don't even have to go out and get a uh, ratchet and a uh, uh, the impact gun. The geometry is not right, um, period. The category one, Lift arms or lift draft links, whatever you're going to call them, are going to push the category one arms or category zero arms too wide. So this idea doesn't work. Um, so we're going to chalk this up as a failure, but I'm not done with this yet. So we're going to continue working towards trying to get this figured out. Just might take us a little longer than we planned. So, um, like I said, it was an idea, so I guess if anybody needs uh, a set of Category 1 lift arms, uh, feel free to drop me a message, because I don't need them, because uh, I don't think it's going to work. I may try to use these lift link, or the lift arms here, or the draft links. I may try to use those, uh, but for the most part, I don't think this is going to work the way I intended. So, um, yeah, oh well. You know, it's worth always, something's always worth trying at least once. And uh, we tried this and it didn't work. So back to the drawing board and seeing if we can figure out how we want to handle this. So thanks for watching.